Chapter 15 He that feareth the Lord will do good, and he that hath the knowledge of the law shall obtain her. And as a mother shall she meet him, and receive him as a wife married of a virgin. With the bread of understanding shall she feed him, and dew him the water of wisdom to drink. He shall be stayed upon her, and shall not be mowed, and shall rely upon her, and shall not be confounded. She shall exalt him above his neighbors, and in the midst of the congregation shall she open his mouth. He shall find oi, and a crown of gladness, and she shall cause him to inherit in your lasting name. But foolish men shall not attain unto her, and sinners shall not see her. For she is far from pride, and men that are leers cannot remember her. Praise is not seemly in the mouth of a sinner, for it was not sent him of the Lord. For praise shall be feared in wisdom, and the Lord will prosper it. Say not thou, it is through the Lord, that I fell away, for thou oughtest not to do the things that he hadeth. Say not thou, he hath caused me to err, for he hath no need of the sinful man. The Lord hadeth all abomination, and they that fear God lew it not. He himself made man from the beginning, and left him in the hand of his counsel. If thou wilt, to keep the commandments, and to perform acceptable faithfulness, he hath set fire and water before thee, stretch forth thy hand unto whether thou wilt. Before man is life and death, and whether him liketh shall be in him. For the wisdom of the Lord is great, and he is mighty in power, and beholdeth all things. And his eyes are upon them that fear him, and he now a fury work of man. He hath commanded no man to do wickedly, neither hath he due in any man license to sin. Chapter 16 Desire not a multitude of profitable children, neither delight in godly sonnies. Though they multiply, roist not in them, except the fear of the Lord be with them. Trust not thou in their life, neither respect their multitude, for one that is just is better than a thousand, and better it is to die without children, than to howl them that are godly. For by one that hath understanding shall the city be replenished, but the kindred of the wicked shall speedily become desolate. Many such things have I seen with mine eyes, and mine ear hath heard greater things than these. In the congregation of the godly shall a fire be kindled, and in a rebellious nation wrath is set on fire. He was not pacified towards the old giants, who fell away in the strength of their foolishness. Neither spared he the place where Lot soared, but abhorred them for their pride. He pitied not the people of perdition, who were taken away in their sins nor the six hundred thousand footmen, who were gathered together in the hardness of their hearts. And if there be one stiff-necked among the people, it is Meruel, if he escape punished, for mercy and wrath are with him, he is mighty to forge you, and to power out displeasure. As his mercy is great, so is his correction also, he ejeth the men according to his works. The sinner shall not escape with his spoils, and the patience of the godly shall not be frustrate. Make way for Yuri work of mercy, for Yuri man shall find according to his works. The Lord hardened Pharaoh, that he should not know him, that his powerful works might be known to the world. His mercy is manifest to Yuri creature, and he hath separated his light from the darkness with an adamant. Say not thou, I will hide myself from the Lord, shall any remember me from a bow? I shall not be remembered among so many people, for what is my cell among such an infinite number of creatures? Behold the hoen, and the hoen of hoens, the deep and the earth, and all that therein is, shall be moved when he shall visit. The mountains also, and foundations of the earth shall be shaken with trembling when the Lord looketh upon them. No art can think upon these things worthily, and who is able to conceal his ways? It is a tempest which no man can see, for the most part of his works are hid. Who can declare the works of his justice? Or who can endure them? For his quinant is afar off, and the trial of all things is in the end. He that wanteth for standing will think upon vain things, and a foolish man erring imagineth follies. 
My son, hearken then to me, and learn knowledge, and mark my words with thy heart. I will shew forth doctrine in weight, and declare his knowledge exactly. The works of the Lord are done in judgment from the beginning, and from the time he made them, he disposed the parts thereof. He garnished his works for you, and in his hand are the chief of them then to all generations, they neither labor, nor are weary, nor cease from their works. None of them hindereth another, and they shall nor disobey his word. After this, the Lord looked upon the earth, and filled it with his blessings. With all manner of lying things hath he cowered the face thereof, and they shall return into it again. Chapter 17 The Lord created man of the earth, and turned him into it again. He gave them few days, and a short time, and power also o'er the things therein. He endued them with strength by themselves, and made them according to his image, and put the fear of man upon all flesh, and gave him dominion o'er beasts and fools. They received the veil of the few operations of the Lord, and in the sixth place he imparted them understanding, and in the suant speech, an interpreter of the cogitations thereof, counsel, and a tongue, and eyes, ears, and a heart, got he them to understand. Withal, he filled them with the knowledge of understanding, and shewed them good and you will. He set his eye upon their hearts, that he might shew them the greatness of his works. He got them to glory in his merciless acts for you, that they might declare his works with understanding, and the elect shall praise his holy name. Beside this he gave them knowledge, and the law of life for an heritage. He made an everlasting quenon with them, and shewed them his judgments. Their eyes saw the majesty of his glory, and their ears heard his glorious voice. And he said unto them, Beware of all righteous, and he gave your man commandment concerning his neighbor. Their ways are your before him, and shall not be hid from his eyes. Your man from his youth is Jayu and Teul. Neither could they make to themselves fleshy hearts for stony. For in the division of the nations of the whole earth, he set a ruler o'er Uri people, but Israel is the Lord's portion, whom being his firstborn, he nourisheth with discipline, and dewing him the light of his loo, doth not forsake him. Therefore all their works are as the sun before him, and his eyes are continually upon their ways. None of their righteous deeds are hid from him, but all their sins are before the Lord. But the Lord being gracious, and knowing his workmanship, neither left nor forsook them, but spared them. The alms of a man is as a signet with him, and he will keep the good deeds of man, as the apple of the eye, and due repentance to his sonnies and daughters. Afterward he will rise phoebe and reward them, and render their recompense upon their heads. But until them that repent, he granted them return, and comforted those that fail in patience. Return unto the Lord and forsake thy sins, make thy prayer before his face, and offend less. Turn again to the Most High, and turn away from iniquity, for he will lead thee out of darkness into the light of health, and hate thou abomination vehemently. Who shall praise the Most High in the grow, instead of them which loo and Jew thanks? Thanks giewing perisheth from the dead, as from one that is not, the lying and sound in heart shall praise the Lord. How great is the looing kidneys of the Lord our God, and his compassion vento such as turn vento him in holiness. For all things cannot be in men, because the Son of Man is not immortal. What is brighter than the sun? Yet the light thereof faileth, and flesh and blood will imagine you ill. He vieweth the power of the height of Hoan, and all men are but earth and ashes. Chapter 18 He that looeth for you are created all things in general. The Lord onely is righteous, and there is none other but he. Who gorneth the world with the palm of his hand, and all things obey his will, for he is the king of all, by his power dwighting holy things among them from profane. To whom hath he drew in power to declare his works? And who shall find out his noble acts? Who shall number the strength of his mesty? And who shall also tell out his mercies? As for the wondrous works of the Lord, there may nothing be taken from them, neither may anything be put vento them, neither can the ground of them be found out. 
when a man hath done, then he beginneth, and when he lueth off, then he shall be doubtful. What is man, and whereado sarroweth he? What is his good, and what is his ill? The number of a man's days at the most are an hundred years. As a drop of water vento the sea, and a growlstone in comparison of the sand, so are a thousand years to the days of eternity. Therefore is God patient with them, and powereth forth his mercy upon them. He saw and pursued their end to be ewell, therefore he multiplied his compassion. The mercy of man is toward his neighbor, but the mercy of the Lord is upon all flesh. He reproveth and nurtureth, and teacheth, and bringeth again as a shepherd his flock. He hath mercy on them that receive discipline, and that diligently seek after his judgments. My son, blemish not thy good deeds, neither save comfortable words when thou juiced anything. Shall not the dee assuage the heat? So is a word better than a gift. Lo is not a word better than a gift. But both are with a gracious man. A fool will braid churlishly, and a gift of the inuous consumeth the eyes. Learn before thou speak, and say physic, or you or thou be sick. Before judgment examine thyself, and in the day of visitation thou shalt find mercy. Humble thyself before thou be sick, and in the time of sin shew repentance. Let nothing hinder thee to pay thy vow in due time, and defer not till death to be is defeat. Before thou prayest, prepare thyself, and be not as one that tempteth the Lord. Think on the wrath that shall be at the end, and the time of vengeance when he shall turn away his face. When thou hast enough, remember the time of hunger, and when thou art rich, think fond, poverty, and need. From the morning till the evening, the time is changed, and all things are soon done before the Lord. A wise man will fear in your thing, and in the day of sinning he will beware of offense, but a fool will not observe your time. Your man of first standing now at wise dome, and will do praise when to him that found her. They that were of understanding in sayings became also wise themselves, and powered forth exquisite parables. Go not after thy lusts, but refrain thyself from thine appetites. If thou juice thy soul the desires that please her, she will make thee a laughing stock to thine enemies that malign thee. Take not pleasure in much good cheer, neither be tied to the expense thereof. Be not made a beggar by banqueting fond borrowing, when thou hast nothing in thy purse, for thou shalt lie in wait for thy own life, and be talked on.